here celebrating the Bay Area bouncing back. By doing that, local artists communities are playing a vital role in revitalizing San Francisco by reimagining commercial space that has been sitting vacant. One building in the Soma Rincon Hill area is now filled with artists, giving them a community canvas where they can create and connect while bringing life back to parts of the city. Leon Lashore is one of 11 artists coming together to create in San Francisco. Everybody in this collective is just a kind-hearted, intelligent, thoughtful person. And it's just so much fun all being together. We have our studio right here at the base of the Bay Bridge. And so we are the Bridge Studio Collective. Part of the building at 333 Bryant Street was left vacant after the pandemic. It's now vibrant with artists filling the walls and rooms with creativity. That's one thing that we are afforded a little more luxury around as the city opens up to artists is that, you know, when you're paying an exorbitant amount of money for, for rent, it's a little more difficult to be playful and take chances and be experimental. So I think that, you know, this represents a unique moment in our city where we have the opportunity to engage that playfulness. And bringing that to life on canvas. I think that as an artist, my function is to hold up a mirror to the world around me and to express my perception of that world. And certainly San Francisco gives me plenty uh, to work with in that regard. And Leon's work hanging here in Rincon Hill and at the de Young Museum, where just over 880 local artists' work are on display from floor to ceiling. Leon living close by for years and having spent lots of time there with his children. What was your feeling, Leon, when you saw your piece hanging in here? I was stunned. It was a dream come true. You know, uh, having been to this museum many times, living in the neighborhood and being a member for many years, I've seen tons of exhibits in, in this area, uh, this part of the museum. And it just, it's amazing to think that my work is, is hanging um, in the same place as all those great shows I've seen through the years. Timothy Anglin Burgard is a curator of American art for the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco. And he says it's that connection of local artists that brings these stories you see told in their art to life. And this was their dream. They've been coming to the De Young all their lives, and now they have a work of art on view. And when you walk through the show, you really feel that the images and the faces looking out at you from the works of art reflect the diversity and sort of cultural richness of the Bay Area. This one, this one's really... Uh, an incredible sculpture about and the exhibit drawing people back to the city with the latest attendance numbers up 27 percent compared to pre-pandemic years leon and his family are just a handful of people walking the halls viewing a colorful testament to community coming together to tell the stories of the city well, the DeYoung is part of the free Saturday program that was started back in 2019. They just welcomed their 500,000th visitor just a couple of weekends ago. And it's not just for San Francisco residents. It's for anyone in mm -hmm. the Bay Area to take advantage and learn something about these local artists. And what an opportunity for them to have their work now in the museum and just to see where they're sort of working from and starting from. Well, and I thought it was important that he noted it's difficult as a creator to worry about high rent. So to be able to, you know, create in an atmosphere where you don't have to worry about paying the bills, but instead focus on your project, I think that that really spoke. And something I love about Gianna's storytelling, she gets to know the people attached to the story. <laughs> something you didn't hear on air was Gianna saying, over there, that's his mom right there. She must be so proud. Oh, she, I did speak with her too. Yeah. She was, she, it was so cute because she talked about all the pieces of art she has yeah. in her <laughs> home, you know, from her son, but just how proud she is that he's achieving right. a dream. And it's not easy mm -hmm. to do, just as you mentioned. It's, it's hard to kind of put yourself out there and hope that someone buys one of your pieces. All those pieces, by the way, will either, some of them will be part of the museum later down the road, or you can actually purchase them and support local artists.